Hi everyone, welcome back to the Mixed Box Show. Today, we are going to be taking the Surons on the BMX Park. So, so what made me want to do this video actually was because I just recently took the Surons to the skate park. You guys seem to enjoy that video. So that's why we're going to be bringing them to the BMX Park today and trying them out here. There is like two or three Surons. No, there's two Surons, my bad. Um, we got this Super Motor variant right here. And then, and then we got the um, Dirt Tire variant. So... I honestly just kind of want to check out both of these on the BMX park here today and see how it Holy hell, bro. Wait, what? Wait, dude, this Super Murder variant grips up on here. So I don't know what the actual base of this is. Dude. Bro, what the hell? Wait, you guys. Wait, what? We have never been able to jump that, I don't think. With that amount of ease. What I was going to say was, I don't know if the base under this is actual pavement or dirt because I didn't know what the track maker said it as. But yo! Why is this thing so freaking fast, dude? Holy hell, bro. Hold on here. Uh, if you guys want the surrounds as well, I'll leave a link down below like usual. But god damn, this thing is fast. Dude, look at that. We flatland off that like crazy. And the suspension is really, really good, dude. The Surons, as you guys know, recently we took the Surons to the uh, skate park. If you guys haven't seen that video, it is on the channel not too long ago. Oh my god, this thing's insane! But, yeah, we took it to the skate park, so I figured why not bring it to the BMX park. And I didn't actually try this Suron on the uh, skate park, and now I'm really regretting that. Because this thing feels really good, the Supermoto variant. Let me know if you guys like seeing me take down the skate park, but holy hell, dude, check this out. Have to let off and we still send it to flat oh my god all right so the goal of today's video is i kind of want to maybe not necessarily maybe put in the lap just depends how it goes here i more so just want to absolutely rip and hit the big lines on this thing because i am having a blast already and was we just easily quad out of that a little bit of a case though i guess all right let's try to hit this big big line without dying here so we jump all the way over look at that grease that that is insane, dude. We have to... The fact that we have to let off, bro, is what amazes me. Let's hit this one pin. I don't know where we're going first time. No way. Triple over that. Oh, that would have been an insanely fast line, dude. Wait. So, th this is what I'm wondering here. What line are we going to be able to... Are we going to be able to table all the way over? That would be freaking nuts. I cannot believe how good this bike is, you guys. Unreal. It's so fast, dude. Okay, hold on here. Oh my god, no freaking way. Dude, this thing actually is insane. We legit just tabled all the way over first try. We can, I don't know if we've ever hit this big alliance before on the BMX park. This Suron absolutely gets it. So can we, there we go. That's probably the line right there. That was sick, dude. All right, so. I guess what I kind of want to try to do now is we're going to bring the dirt one on here. The one with the dirt tires very shortly here. But I kind of want to try to put in a decent lap, you know, without going down on the Suron. See if we can hit all the big lines in one lap. I don't know if it's going to happen since they are a little bit difficult here, bro. But we're going to give it a shot. Why not? So we triple singled that because we did mess that up a little bit here. Um, around this outside here. Make sure we check up just a little bit here. Should still get over that. Oh, we actually cased a little bit there. It's okay, though. We'll be all right. Single over that. Double out. Save it. Oh, that was a big swap. Dang it. I feel like we did lose a bit of traction. Oh, so it actually, I just realized there is roost behind me. It actually is dirt. So, so what would the motocross Suron be like? Holy hell, that might be insane, bro. All right, let's just go with this right now. Triple, single. But this feels way faster is what I'm getting at here. Okay. Make sure we check up a little bit over that. There we go. Jump all the way over. Hit the single out. Double out of that. There we go. We're going to go around the outside here. Let's go for the big line. Screw it, dude. Just send it. Send him. Okay. Let's try to check up after we land. Double. Triple out. This is actually a really clean lap so far. Can we please make this last section? That'd be sick. Jump all the way over. Perfect. Table on. Off. Dude. That was a freaking clean lap. And pretty fast it felt like, too. Definitely could. there's room for a lot of improvement there. But it feels freaking fast, dude. Can we clear this all the way if we jump like... Okay, wow. Almost to the next one? This bike's insane. 
This is literally insane. My mind is blown right now. You guys, I will be right back. We're going to hop on the motocross version right here, as you guys could tell. So I, I don't think it's going to do nearly as good as the supermoto version, dude. The supermoto version is insane. We were hitting some of the biggest lines we've probably ever hit. And it just freaking gets it, dude. All right, let's go ahead and uh, put our mapping on here and our swing arm extended a little bit here. Um, I, I don't think we're going to be able to match what we did with the freaking Sur on su the Super Moto Edition, dude. This We'll see what the Moto Edition can do here. Although, off the rip, it does feel really freaking fast, too. It does feel more grippy than the Super Moto, I would say, by a decent bit. Wait, maybe, let's see if we can clear this line. Dude, no, it's not nearly as fast. Not nearly. That was wide open. I mean, we still greased that, but dude, the Suron Supermoto is way faster. What? I didn't even realize that. Yeah, look, we're absolutely pinned, and we're not even... We're clearing the lines good, but we're not clearing the big lines like we were on the su uh, the Supermoto Suron. Like, check this out, you guys. We were tabling all the way over, as you guys remember. And look at this. There ain't no way. We're just cabled wide open just to get the normal lines. Wow, so the Suron, I mean, we still put in a clean lap, to be fair. That was pretty clean. But the freaking Suron Supermoto is insane. I can't believe how fast that thing is. Let me know if you guys would like to see me take that thing on some more freaking tracks because that thing is unreal. I can't believe how fast it is compared to the dirt one. The dirt one's still very good, don't get me wrong. It's almost easier to ride, though, because you don't have to worry about, like, the traction is just so much better, I guess you could say. The suspension maybe almost feels a little bit better on the motocross version too, which makes sense. It is a motocross version, not a supermoto version, but... Yeah, the key to hitting all the sections on here is it's actually really a lot easier on the moto edition because all you got to do is just hold it wick, don't let off, and you'll be fine on this thing. Um, and by the way, you guys, I did have the same mapping and swing arm length for both bikes, so... That should not be any issue with that. So they, they're pretty much, they're set the exact same. The only difference is one's a Supermoto and then one's the Moto Edition. And the Supermoto Edition feels freaking crazy. But it's actually sick too at the same time. But yeah, you guys, let's try to see if we can lay down a, uh, does this, does this track count lap times? I don't know if it does, bro. I don't think it does, maybe. Let's try to lay down a freaking heater. One thing I will say is this Suron Moto Edition definitely does handle the jumps and scrubs and whips so much better than the Suron, in my opinion. Um, but overall, if you're trying to hit some bigger sense, you definitely want to go with that freaking Super Moto Edition. As we're casing just that. And on the Super Moto Edition, we had to check up to not land completely flat off of that thing. So that's kind of a prime example, bruh, on how much faster that thing's. You know, I have an idea real quick, you guys. I kind of want to get a miniature top speed run on both of these bikes here. So what I'm going to do is line myself up down here, and we're going to get ripping down the straight, see how fast we can really get going on this thing, and then we're going to go hop back on the Supermoto variant here and see uh, how fast we get going on that thing, bruh. So let's go ahead, give her a run here, and let's just rip. I don't know where the hell this straight goes, bruh, but we're just going to rip down it until we get maybe max speed or get to the end here. Going about 64 miles an hour here. We got a little bit of drift stick on my controller. Don't mind that here. 67. 67 appeared to be the fastest before we reached the end of the straight. So now we're going to hop on the Supermoto Edition. Dude, I, I have a feeling we might hit 8. I'm going to guess. If I'm making a guesstimate here, I'm saying we might hit 80 plus miles an hour. You know, that's a lot though because the dirt one did only go 67. But dude, I don't know. I think we have the potential here. To maybe hit 80 plus. It's going to be hard though. Let's see. We're about to load in though. We're going to go ahead and make sure our bike has our tuning on it as well. All right. As you guys can see, we're on swing arm 2 mode 3 as well, bruh. So, whoops. Wrong button. There we go. Right there. All right. Let's give her a run here. So, it is a lot more slippery off the go is what I'm noticing, bro. Like right now, we're losing traction. But once you get going. Oh, yeah. We're ripping. Hold on here. Wait. Wait. We're spinning. We're only going to hit 64. Wait, dude. Something's not right. Because we were freaking ripping just a second. Wait. What the hell's going on, bro? As you guys saw, there was a huge difference in visible speed and the lines we could hit. I, that is weird. What? I am so confused. Hold on. Let's see. Can we still hit the line? Yeah, look at that. What? I am so confused. We could almost jump all the way over that on this thing, but we can't even clear the whole thing on the dirt to one. But yet, it has a higher top speed? Maybe it has a lot more torque? Like, I, I don't know, dude, because we can hit way bigger lines on this thing. Like, 
Look at that. We overshot that line that we were hitting on the uh, motocross edition pinned. And we just overshot the hell out of it like nothing on this. And if we go right up over this, we'll be able to jump over the table like nothing. And we could barely get onto it with the moto edition. So I'm really confused. It must be... Yeah, actually, check that out. It must be something to do with the, um, the torque between the two. I don't know. But absolutely insane what we found out today is this one is freaking way faster. I mean... It didn't have a faster top speed, which really blows my mind, but we were sliding a lot. Like, we were spinning a ton, so that's probably why. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed me taking these to the BMX park. This was so much fun. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed it. It does greatly help out the channel. And I appreciate any one of you that even watched these videos. If you guys stayed all the way to the end, I freaking love you. And go ahead and say down below. Say down below, Sir on Supermoto. Why not? You know, see you stayed all the way to the end. Anyways, thank you guys so... That was clean. So, so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any suggestions you guys would like to see us do with these bikes, let us know down below. We'll see you guys next video, boys. Everyone have a great rest of your day.